Just got this in. So this is the Diatone Mamba Practice Soldering Board. Now, if you're someone who is just new getting into building drones or working on a bind and fly drone you bought and you're not really certain of your soldering skills, maybe you haven't done soldering in a long time and you'd like to, to practice, let me show you a board from an old bind and fly drone that I tried to uh, fix up. This is from a long time ago. Now check this out. You see where I literally lifted the pad and just destroyed the board. I just I used way too much heat. I used the wrong kind of solder. I needlessly destroyed this board. If I had practiced on this board before touching this board, I'd still have this. But now, this is trash. So let's just take a quick look of this board here. We've got these pads here are more typical of XT60 connector, uh, main power. We've got pads that are very close together because sometimes on these little micro boards you are, you're going to have pads that are really close. And likewise for this where you've got the little hole pads with the holes through them to put wire through. You know, there's every kind of general soldering situation uh, that Diatone has covered through the making of this board. And you get, remember you get the front side and the back side. Um, so. I believe that soldering is a matter of at least 50% is having the right tools. So let me show you some of the tools that I use. This, this is called a helping hand. And as you can see, we've got four of these claws here. And this is what's gonna help hold your board nice and steady while you're working on it. Now you're not always gonna be able to use this, but if you're intelligent in your build process you will be able to make use of this as much as possible until you actually have to screw it on your flight controller and since this board is just out in the open I think that this is a good way for us to practice soldering on this thing so this is an electrostatic discharge tweezer really really useful for holding a wire down or what have you we've got my favorite soldering iron of all time the TS100. I did do a review of that, this iron here, and you can go ahead and check that out here if you want. This is my favorite type of solder for electronics. Now, 6337, that's what you want. 6337, you've got a much lower melting point, which means you can use a lower temperature on your iron. You've also got this solder wick. This is what's going to let you remove your solder if you make a mistake you want to try to avoid ever having to use this but in the case of our little practice board here it's actually pretty convenient because if you want to practice soldering something again you remove the solder last bit here i've got this do not use a sponge just get yourself one of these things this is a, a little brass a uh, solder tip cleaner so much better than a sponge i don't know why i suffered with a sponge for so long but yeah there's that Let's go ahead and solder an XT60 connector. I'm heating up the iron here. There we go. A little flow. A little flow on that one. Beautiful. Ah, I spilled a little bit. That's... There you go. I'm just going to flow these pads. See that? Now you can even check to see that you flowed the pads. Nothing is touching. Everything looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. And there we go. I've got that sealed down. Right, so if you accidentally cross pads, a lot of times you can kind of just fix it by allowing the wire to soak in the remaining solder. But if you want, you can also get your wick out and you can clean it up like that. With the wick, there we go. Now that wick will just suck in that solder. You see that? It's coming off. And there you go. Now you don't have bridge solder pads anymore. Wick, very handy for cleaning up the messes that you make. Now, ow, ow, see my hand is, my hand was heating up there, and that's one of the things that the tweezers is going to be good for, because you can hold the wire down for much longer if you have to. Alright, let's go ahead and solder an ESC here. We've got one of these little pads, they're very tiny. We're going to flow the pad with a little bit of the solder. By the way, the tip that I am using on my TS100 
is not a tip that comes with it. This is my favorite all around kind of tip because as you can see, you can kind of get small connections as well as big connections. It's it's really great all around tip. I've got a link to that in the description below along with everything else here, including the practice board and all that good stuff. So yeah, links are down in the description below to everything I'm using today. I want this wire to be kept straight so I can solder it. Okay, so this is again, this is where a helping hand, wow, can come in really handy here. And we'll also use my tweezers just for good measure. Because that is crap, what I just did. And there you go. You got a solid connection there. It's not going to come out. And there we have it. We've got it nice and solid in there. Not coming out. Okay. Now we can go ahead and get that soldered. And there you go, that's it. It's in there. All nice and good. And we'll do it with the other one. We'll, do, we'll go hard mode, them together. There you go. And then once you're done, you can just eat, clean it up with solder wick or desolder the stuff and then do it again. If you don't like something you did, desolder. Here, watch this. That's gone. I'm going to take this off now. Off. And this is off too. I'm not leaving all this attached. There we go, and that's off, and that's off, and there you go, your board's clean. You're ready to do some more practice soldering. All right, that's it, guys. So I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I'm going to go do some soldering.